You need a TV screen to display this tiny stick. Your MacBook and this laptop right here can display it too. And now I'll show you how. I'm tiny tech supporter. Get to the video. So here's all you need to gather beforehand. A laptop or a MacBook. A streaming device, of course. And a video capture card. I'll explain why in later part. All right, before talking about how it work, if you want to jump right into the how-to, you can skip to this timestamp right here. Now, how does it work? Is this a simply plug into the SDMI port on your laptop? Wrong. If you do so, nothing happens, right? That's because the SDMI connector on every single streaming device is designed for SDMI output signals. And guess what? The SDMI port on this laptop is also SDMI output. In other words, the signal from the fire stick wants to go out and met the exit gate on this laptop. You see the problem? So this fire stick must be connected into an SDMI input port. And all you can do is use the capture card to view the content from this device. Simply put, this smart thing lets you record from your streaming device and display them onto your MacBook or laptop. What? That's it! This video is not entirely about capture cards. If you want us to dive more in these little things, drop it down below to let us know. Alright, let's get to the how-to. Now, why this isn't too complex? Stick with me because it's a, a bit of a long process. I have broken down into 7 easy steps on the screen and in the video stamps. So you can follow along at your own pace. Alright, power on your streaming device. Why are there a handy tip by using your computer USB ports as a power source? It's better to plug it into a wall outlet if you can. Then turn on your laptop. Plug your Fire Stick SDMI connector into the capture card's SDMI port. Then plug another end to the laptop or MacBook via USB ports. Now we need to program the capture card. In this case, I would use the common option, the OBS Studio. It's totally free and easy to use. So navigate onto the web browser, then download and install the application. I will put the link in the description below. Once downloaded, click on the file to open it. Now we're gonna set up the app. So depending on your operating system, the setup would be different. I'm gonna speed up the process and move on to the next step. Open the OBS and navigate to the plus icon at the bottom. Select Video Capture Device and open the drop-down menu in Device. In this section, switch the sort to USB Video. After that, you will immediately see your Fire Stick home screen to the Review window. But if you don't, make sure that the capture card is plugged securely and firmly. Since the Fire TV home screen is projected, let's resize it to fill the Preview screen. Then we're gonna adjust the audio output. In the control panel, click Settings, Audio. Click on the drop down menu next to Mic's Auxiliary Audio and choose USB Digital Audio. Then, under Advanced, change the monitoring device to Built in Outplay. Apply and OK. Now, find the audio mixer and click on the gear icon. Here, adjust Audio Monitoring to Monitor and Output. Now open any content and adjust the volume to make sure the audio output is correct. Christmas is coming! I like this! Alright, it sounds pretty good from now. Let's make it full screen by right click on the preview panel. Full screen project, preview. Choose the option. And there you go, the entire screen has displayed the Fire TV home screen. You can binge watch or experience any content from your streaming device with just your laptop quickly and conveniently. Alright everyone, that's it for today's videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to support our team. Thanks for tuning in, catch you in the next video. Peace out.